investors who attract predominantly fintech-led investments, Kenya venture capital flows are more diverse, led by e-commerce and clean tech, followed by fintech, agritech, and enterprise investments. And what's even more unique for Kenya? In 2022, Kenyan women-founded startups raised $146 million in equity, more than any other country on the entire continent. As I said, more than 90% of Kenya's on-grid electricity is currently generated from renewable sources, primarily geothermal, wind, and solar. A great example is Capeto in Kajiado County. It's the second largest wind farm in Kenya, proudly supported by the U.S. International Development Finance Corp. and Power Africa. And it is phenomenal that Kenya has committed to reaching 100% renewable energy by 2030 and is already close to achieving that goal. From a workforce perspective, Kenya is English-speaking, has high literacy rates, and strong primary, secondary, and tertiary education systems. And every firm that I have spoken to about the quality of Kenyan workforce says this, Kenya, the Kenyan workforce is their best workforce in the world. As I mentioned, in 2022, the United States became Kenya's largest export market, edging ahead of neighboring Uganda. In total, Kenya exported $890 million in goods to the United States last year, and in addition, the United States exported around $600 million in goods to Kenya. So $1.5 billion in total U.S.-Kenya trade, it's fairly balanced and it's expected to increase as the United States and Kenya negotiate a first-of-its-kind bilateral trade agreement that we hope will be done by the end of this year. And we hope this agreement will be a model for the rest of the continent once signed. So now you know why I am so enthusiastic about the Kenyan prospects and the Kenyan 